Hello, Javier um, and everyone. I hope every, everything is going well for all the YouTubers that follow us in Creator Scripts. Uh, Javier is asking uh, about the ways that he could uh, actually visualize all the subform data once the, the form has been created. And Javier, there are three ways that you can visualize your subform data. And I'm going to use this this view to show you um, how you can do it. So if I edit this form, <clears throat> I will show you that I have a subform. This is a products uh, form, information about products, uh, pharmaceutical products. But we do have um, a subform called, and I'll show you here in a second. The subform it's called Principios Activos. So you can see there are different ingredients for each of the products. So I'm going to show you how to display this information in three different ways. So one of them would be to uh, edit the application view, go to column properties, and then just look within your field options and pull Principios Activos, which is your, your subform. Once you're there, you have to click on the, on the link here to open up the uh, fields in the subform that you want to display. So if you want to choose, you know, what the uh, code of the ingredient is and then show you the name. <clears throat> and then I want to see how many kilograms and then I want to see maybe no the cost so let's put it like here if you want to have a link to that particular record uh, the view that the subform comes from has to be selected if you do not want a link and you just want to display the records I mean the information you select none so once you click create And then uh, it was saved. Okay, so now you can access <coughs> the report and you'll see that the ingredients will be listed with the information that you chose to display. So that's one way to do it. The other way is all the subforms that are tied to your main form will be available as a, as a related, related form. So in this case, let's see, I have all these different options in which I also have ingredients that I can choose from and then just grab uh, a few of the characteristics that I am interested in. So for example, if I want to do just the, uh, I'm going to remove, well actually I'll leave it there so you see it, but if I want to do the code, of the ingredient and then we had the cost so let's do those two okay so I didn't select them from the main form I selected them from the related forms which in this case your subforms will appear here so once you run the report You'll be able to see the codes uh, that are uh, involved in this particular uh, subform. Uh, the only setback here is that obviously you can only add uh, the information about that particular field, whereas here you can aggregate all the information on the subform. So that's two ways. And, and the last way you can visualize your subform, which is actually uh, probably the best, it's by using the record summary. You can build different templates. And then uh, once you have built them, you can activate them. But I'm going to dive into the products template here. 
and you will see that we were able to drag the subform into the template so you have information about the product here's all the details pictures but then I have the subform Principius Activus right here so all I have to do to do this is look for the subform and then drag it into my template and then I can select what fields I want to show and then have that information here on my database. So once everything is done, I click Save and then I access the application under the view mode. And we'll see that in a second here. Uh, okay, let me go back to the form that we were working on. Here it is. Okay, P09. So you go to view record and then here it is. You have information about your subform with the rest of the information of the product. So I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any other questions and uh, thanks for sharing and recommending Zoho Creator Scripts for all your Zoho development needs. Thank you.